I better not catch you smoking again or you're out of here. So if you guys remember the Smoke Novo that I reviewed a few weeks ago, a nice small pod system from Smoke. Well, today's product is kind of like the Novo, but kind of not. It's not really a pod system, but it kind of looks like a pod system. Today, we're going to check out the Smoke Nord. And what this is, is kind of like an up, I don't want to say an update, but it's kind of like a step up from the Novo. It's a little bigger, better battery, bigger tank capacity, replaceable coil heads rather than replaceable pods. So it's kind of more like a low wattage all-in-one kit. Now the Nord was sent over directly by Smoke for the purpose of this review. I did search online and since we cannot post links in the description anymore to tobacco websites, um, I did find it over at the Smoke site directly, but they want 60 bucks for it. I found it over at my vapor store in Element Vape. They're asking anywhere between $32 and $39. And replacement coils, once again, it is using coils, not pods. Uh, you can get a five pack for around $11.49. So let's have a closer look at the Nord kit. Now, presentation box, very nice. Got all the information here on the front. And something new Smoke is doing is they have these anti-counterfeit stickers at the top. So whether you're buying coils, atomizers, tanks, mods, if you see the sticker, you can assure that it's going to be an authentic Smoke product and it's not going to be a clone. You can see how the S is kind of holographic right there. So something new Smoke is doing. Slide open the box. We're gonna have another authenticity card along with a user manual. And the user manual covers the basics, how to fill it up, how to install the coil heads, what the firing switch does and all that jazz. Inside the box, you're gonna get the Nord device. They're going to include one pod or one tank, however you wanna consider it. You'll get two coil heads and a very, very, very short micro USB charging cable. Now the Nord measures in at 94 millimeters tall, 30 millimeters wide, and 18 millimeters thick. It does weigh in at about 80 grams, and it's available in five different colors. Here's the red one that you see here. We have that Cobra style pattern that Smoke is known for, and it's a very high gloss device, so it is going to be a fingerprint magnet. Now this is not necessarily a pod system because it uses replaceable coil heads and not replaceable pods. Also, it can work like a mouth-to-lung device or a direct lung device, so therefore it's not really a pod system. It's going to use replaceable coil heads, and as you can see here, Smoke does include two different style coil heads. You'll get a 0.6 ohm sub-ohm mesh coil, which is the larger one, and then you'll get a smaller 1.4 mouth-to-lung style coil that's using traditional wire on the inside. Now up at the top, we're going to have your full-size mouthpiece. And you'll notice that it's not the traditional kind of 510 or 810 drip tip. This one actually covers your entire lip, so it's a little bit more comfortable. We have a viewing window on the front. It's going to let you know how much liquid you have inside of there. And then when it comes time to change the coil or to fill up the tank or the pod, whatever you want to call it, you can get a grip right here on the front. Give it a firm pull because it is in there pretty tight. Ah, There we go. Pop it out. And here's gonna be your little tank section. This is gonna hold three mLs of liquid. Now they do offer a two mL version, but we're gonna have a look at the three mL version. And pretty much the way this works is you're gonna select the coil that you want. For this case, I'm gonna use the mesh coil. And all you're gonna do is pop it in there. There's an O-ring at the bottom, if you can see that, that's gonna seal it off. So go ahead and press it down. And you wanna make sure the flat sides line up with the very end right there. So for instance, you don't wanna put it in like that because it's not going to seal you want to put it in like that once you get it in place go ahead and push it all the way down there we go now the fill port located right here on the side little silicone plug make sure you got nails i don't but there we go now since i'm using the sub ohm coil i'm going to use a lower nick juice and even though this is not really a high wattage device i'm going to use probably a six milligram on here i'm not going to use anything too strong because once again, I'm still doing direct long, so I'm just gonna bump it up just a little bit to around six milligrams. So I got a regular glass dropper bottle here, probably gonna get messy, but as you can see, the glass dropper bottle fits in there beautifully. Now when you're filling up the tank or the pod for the first time and you're using a brand new coil head, you wanna make sure that when you're done filling it, 
you let it sit on the side for about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so because you want the juice to absorb into the cotton. If you fill it up and you start vaping right away, chances are you're gonna burn up that cotton and you're gonna destroy the coil head. Once you fill it up, close that little door, get your rag, wipe it off, set it down, let it sit for about 10 minutes. So once the coil is primed up and ready to go, all you're gonna do is pop it in. There are no magnets. This is all like a pressure fit system. So when you push it in, it's gonna get pretty tight. It's gonna hold in place. And we do have an actual firing switch on here. So we don't have an auto draw feature, which means you can technically turn this on and turn it off. So to turn it on will be five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. You got your little LED light on the front. And if you do two clicks, one, two, the light is actually gonna indicate the charge status of your battery. So when the light is red, that means the battery is under 30%. When the light is orange, it's between 30 and 70%. And when the light is white, it's above 70%. Now this one's using a 1100 milliamp hour battery and it's pushing out between 10 and 15 watts. At the bottom, we got your standard micro USB charging port. Remember, they do include that very tiny, what is this, like a three, four inch cable? to charge a device. You can use pretty much any standard micro USB cable to charge it. And aside from that, that's it. A very simple device. When you're not vaping it, just give it five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. That will turn it off. So let's say you were a fan of the Novo pod system from Smoke and you wanted to take that next step in your vaping journey. You wanted to have a little bit more control of your vape. You wanted to try pre-made coils. You wanted to try a different resistance this would be perfect because it's kind of like a step up from the Novo, giving you different coil options, giving you a larger battery, giving you a firing switch, and kind of getting you ready for more you know, complicated devices later down the road. Now, the coolest option about this pod, or I keep calling it a pod system, it's not a pod system, but the nice feature about this device is the two different coil head options. You got the direct lung, you got the mouth to lung. What's even better is they include both coils in the kit. And there's no which one is better. It's about which one is more suited for your vape style. Now, since I'm a direct lung vapor, I vape a three milligram. I went with the direct lung coil. I loaded up six milligram because even though it is doing direct lung, the power is low, it's a low wattage device. So I wanted that extra bump in nicotine to kind of compensate for compensate for the, you know, the wattage I'm missing out on. And I will say the vape I get off this, six milligram at, what is it, 10 to 15 watts, very satisfying, great flavor, and it actually puts out a decent amount of vapor for being such a small little device. Not bad at all. The mouth to lung coil head, smaller, higher resistance. You're gonna get a lot less vapor. This one's gonna be more about the throat hit. You're gonna to wanna to load this one up with a higher nick juice, like, you know, 20 milligram, 18, maybe some low nick salt. Do not put high milligram in this one. It's a sub ohm coil head. You're gonna knock yourself out. So 19.5 in here for a nice mouth to lung vape. This one's all about the throat hit. The flavor on the mouth on the direct lung, of course, gonna be a little better because you're getting more vapor. The mouthpiece on this device, super comfortable. You got the viewing window right there. You can easily see how much liquid you got in there. I like the actual physical button. That means I could turn it on and turn it off. I don't have to worry about it auto firing. I don't have to worry about sucking on it too hard to activate the auto draw feature. And what's nice is the micro USB port is located at the bottom. The cable they provide is a little short, but then again, who doesn't have 100 micro USB cables laying around their house? All in all, it's an awesome little starter device, or even for the experienced vapor, a nice little stealthy device that will perform however you want it to perform, depending on the coil that you choose. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's the Nord. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and if you didn't, too bad. So that's it. I'm out. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.